very pagan tutorial. We've sort of reached a a bit of a hard point here, which honestly comes a lot, uh, quite often I should say, in this game. All right, so here we are. We're trying to antagonize him. We could make people dislike him for 100 gold. Uh, we pay a little bit of gold. We're not going to pay gold. We don't want to make him hated f enough that we're going to pay money. Uh, so our vassal is offering to train all of our warriors with the flanker trait if we give him a favor. Which he's not on the council and there's not much power the council currently has because we do not have low tribal organization. So we will say sure. And we're also going to come here and vote for our noble obligation and change it higher. Because again, if you're eventually planning to go feudal or merchant republic, you want to change these. All right. And we can do our Baltic holds again as well. We're going to come up here to this place and do it. Now at level two, that's as high as it can go. So yeah, it'll be grayed out. Yeah, even if we... Yep. All right, let's go sack sacks. Because they have 14.9 ducats there. Defeat. Oh yeah, that man was raiding us up here. Yep. Uh, we can go and worship the ancestors. Sure. Uh, guide my sword in battle. We give up our eye, or we can sacrifice this person. Let's sacrifice this person. Uh, okay, we've offered her up. This child has become Midas touched. We have a 13 year old kid here who we can't recruit to the Warrior Lodge right now. Oh, because we already did it. Busy you're fighting in a war. Oh, we don't have the renown. That's what it really is. All right. Uh, we also need a new wife. So this woman murdered our wife for some unknown reason. They m must have insulted each other. So let's go get a new wife. And let's get someone with a large amount of diplomacy. As much as we can. We don't care about your age. We want all the diplomacy we can get so we're not quite so high over our vassal limits. We also need a spy master. There you go. You like us. And we can pick a patron deity. We can go for the diplomacy, the intrigue, the marshal, the stewardship. We're actually going to go for the diplomacy this time. Because our diplomacy is so bad. Um, and we want to lower that vassal limit. All right, she struggled, but she was offered up. It was lovely. Uh, yes, they get married. Now we're at 23 over 18. A son was born to our, oh, we have a grandson. I think that's actually really our son. Yep, that's our lover. Uh, now he's winning as the heir. People can't make up their minds. Grammy position in your council. He's now our marshal. Sure. Works for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, we become bitter rivals with this man. Fine. Oh, don't organize raid. Uh, let's go to train troops up here. Wait, do we own a- we own a holding down here. Why do we own Krakow? I guess because, uh, being one over isn't that bad and we're already so far over our vassal limit. Creating another kingdom might help. Uh, it would help. The tribal gives us minus 10. Which is hard. It'd be fine if we weren't tribal. Um, we technically could, if we, if I, um, brought our tribal organization up, we could switch to feudal. But then we would lose a lot of troops. Um, and until our vassals switched over, we wouldn't be able to call on them it's very painful switching over to feudal when you're a large empire like this. 
Seek out and duel this man. Sure. Let's go duel him right now. Because we are at 88%. A fight for glory. Indeed. There's only 1%, but that's okay. We can come here. We can't do the Baltic Holds. We can do Baltic Holds here. Yep, the Wall and Ditch. Which increases our garrison size, which protects our lands better. Uh, you need Confidence Woman. A lot of these are flavor. You can read all of them. Typically the best decision or the one that matters the most is the one I'm picking. Um, our son is an elusive shadow. Our son needs a wife. How about the 17 year old? Sounds good. Sounds good. And how's our sacking going? Uh, we gain, she gained renown. She thought it was beneath her. There's a chance for all four of those options to fail. They are married. And she is a uh, Mazdan, which is a Zoroastrian religion. Interesting. Victory. Uh, yeah, Estonia is out here raiding us. I need you to die. I really, really do need you to die. And we have finished raiding that. We are going to go raid this province because it also has a lot of gold. He is running away, but it doesn't matter. He captured somebody we will sacrifice him because that is the way of it 93% that's because other people are doing their missions becoming even better at Marshall good job we can do Baltic holds again up here Baltic holds do it there we go I do need to remember to actually save up 50 renown for our son uh, he's just raiding us up there and I can't, I mean, I could go off and chase him, but I'd rather get the gold at the moment. It's worth more to us right now than chasing after his stupid self. All right, let's go here. We have raided that down, taken all of their loots. The places with churches always have more money. A oh, very good child. We also now have over 50. So, we're going to come to Mendun and recruit to Warrior Lodge. Do it. Our daughter, we can also recruit as well as soon as we have 10 more renown. I was just waiting for you to be ready, kid. All right, we hit 100%. So, here we go. Here, guys, guys, is the start of legend. For the Battle of Medina, I proclaim raising my glass for the Band of Medina. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. For the band of Medina, I proclaim, raising my glass. The cheers around the tables are boisterous, and the air hangs heavy with anticipation. There is nothing left here to conquer, someone laughs, raising an eyebrow conspiratorially. Kugis murmurs, have you ever been to the Holy Roman Empire? Capital idea. So we can choose to go on this. A group of heroes begin preparing for a journey into the realm of Emperor Robert for blood and glory. Or we can stop this, and we drop down to veteran, and we can never do this again. Or become a hero again. But no, we're going to do this capital idea. We have 146 dueling skill. It's about as high as we can get it easily. To bolster his confidence or adventure into the Holy Roman Empire, I am showing Chief Kugus around my trophy room. You are a collector of skulls, then, the man comments before interrupting himself. Oh, but this one would make a fine chalice. So we have skulls in our inventory here. Oh yes, we're also going to switch weapons, this weapon, as this weapon is 10 personal combat and that one is 5. And we will turn our it into a skull cup, which helps us make great progress. And now we have a skull cup, which makes people like us. My very young son has joined me for dinner. Oh, he has become a member of the band of Modena. I believe we, ha we can invite our daughter now. We have a granddaughter. Um, you'll appear back. I am, as I am soon to be off into the land of the Holy Roman Empire, my Marshal High Chief Coder is concerned for our troops being without leadership. Might I suggest you leave your heavy snowblade behind as a token of your continued guidance? He offers. If nothing else, you should have that thing sharpened, my lord. He frowns. So they want us to either give this away, or have it sharpened. 
we give it away um we give it to him or we could just go on but we could also do this one send 25 gold and we get it upgraded and then we need to equip it again and now it is plus 11 personal combat so just one more point but it is a nice point uh excuse me we should be higher than this oh we must have lost some of our sacrifice battlefield sacrifices okay uh we can spend gold again to cause unrest in this man's realm we don't care enough hey our daughter is a member of the band's excellence okay the time has come for us to move into enemy territory chief kugis and i are toasting once more to the band of Medina, we shall find our most, their most experienced warriors and show them what it means to be Letigalian, I declare. Everyone shall know our name, he agrees, slamming his fist into the table. Yes, together we are strong. The glory will be all mine. Uh, yeah, we're totally going to make great progress. And invite him to join us. I mean, he hates us, he's our rival, but sure. We are camped in the hills on our way to the Holy Roman Empire. While I am scouting the perimeter, I hear the sound of fighting. As I lean out from behind a fallen tree, I spot a man wrestling a stag and winning. This man, the Duke of Champagne. He has an 86 personal combat score. A challenge clears throats. Hey, you. Yes, you. Let's fight. The stag dead on the ground. The man braces for my attack. I call out for the band of Medina. My heavy snowblade too, whooshing, swooshing, nay, singing through the air with the trees as our audience and only witness to, witness to my deed. I have soon seen to sever his head from his body. We win the duel. We get more duel experience, which also makes us a better fighter. Walking through the streets of a village in Fritzle Fritzeller, the locals seem eager to point out how foreign I am. They have clearly never seen a man like me before, and while some are adoring my armor and confident stride, it does not take long before I encounter omen hostility. Go home, one man box. You want to say that to my face? Let's fight. 79 personal combat score. I draw my weapon without hesitation. The crowd scatters around us, and my opponents and I fall into circling one another. The ensuing, ensuing fight is more even than I care to admit. At the end, I am sending a quiet prayer to Divas as I take the cheers of our audience and I slam my weapon against his head. So we win the duel, but we do get wounded and a black eye. And we kill the Duke. Which is sad because it does drop our personal combat score and makes this harder. Having spent the evening drinking and talking around the campfire with my traveling companions, I finally bid them good night. On the way back to my sleeping spot, I pause nearby, leaning against the fallen tree as a man tending to nature's call. An enemy, I yell, more surprised than alarmed. Oh, excellent. I shall. I will duel this one. Alibite under the influence, the battle stance comes naturally to me. My opponent staggers backwards in surprise, almost tripping over the fallen tree. Before he has time to catch up, I thrust my heavy snow blade too hard into his chest. The surprise is clear in his face as blood fills his mouth. I must have hit something important. Another victorious match. Doing fairly well. Uh, we can also just move over there. I have partaken in a local tournament and I have been knocking our Frankish fighters up with ease. Grinning, I search the crowd for the face of Kugis, who has been cheering me on. I find him looking a bit pale, turning to face my final foe. I hear someone shouting on introduction. Sigbald, the giant! He is literally a giant. And he's strong. The dueling, but he's still only 82. Finally, a challenge! The crowd is cheering loudly as the giant looms over me. All the men I have fought so far pale in comparison. You die now! The beast of a man roars, swinging a massive club. When it fails to hit me and bites the ground, the earth shakes as he moves to lift it again. I strike, the crowd falls silent. Another victorious match. Um, we would have gained wounded again, but we're already wounded. And we still have the black eye, which is minus five combat skill. I am par partaken in the local tournaments, and I have been knocking out Frankish fighters with ease. Grinning, I search the crowd for the face of Kugis, who has been cheering me on. I find him looking a bit pale. Turning to me, my final foe, I hear someone shouting an introduction. Oldoric the ill-tempered. Finally, a challenge. The crowd is cheering loudly as the giant looms over me. All the men. It's the same one we just read. Another victorious match. 
We get more dueling experience. A small spear throwing competition can be entertaining. It's also great we don't live in your court. Sure, well, throwing arm. That's not involved with our legendary journey. That's just an event. We have a granddaughter. This is a glorious day. We didn't mangle anyone. Aha! The blood of a legend! Upon your return to Latgea, warriors and commoners alike swoon when they see you. When woman actually faints as you ride by with your entourage. The whole fortress has been dressed in celebratory banners and your friend Vas Vilkas greets you with a smile. The bards will sing of your accomplishments for generations to come. They say you... That you took down an army of a hundred men and wild stags. We received news that some of you were taken captive and... The man's words trail off, and he composes himself. My lord, welcome home. From deeper in the fortress, the band and Medina are singing a song of battle. It's Melody inviting you to celebration. So we formed a bloodline. Alright, so we go take a look now. We have formed the... Battle Blood. Yes. Wait. Yes, this one. <laughs> I, I, I keep getting views with the same image. Battle Blood of Pukor vs. the Bloodhound. So monthly prestige plus point one. Personal combat plus ten. Characters have smiths strive to please them. So if we call a smith now uh, and search for a smith to get like armor and stuff, he will do his best to make it higher quality, I believe. Oh, I apologize. I've not actually had that legendary bloodline. Feels good to be recognized. We gain 100 prestige. And we can go back to leading our troops. And unpause ourselves. There we go. We did the legendary bloodline, folks. We also need... How much? 157. Oh. Okay. Let's go siege this. Oh no, we're not sieging. No, someone else is fighting him. Subjugation war. Well, that's actually not good. We don't want that subjugation war to occur. Uh, yep. Our daughter... Just decided to flee Lotgale, and as if that wasn't enough, my daughter stole as much as she could carry from my treasury. <gasps> no! Our daughter was so upset about joining the band, she fled and stole 100 gold. That's actually events I have not seen before. I've seen them be unhappy and depressed. Oh, we are no longer scarred. We are now grievously scarred, which gives us a lot more stuff. Uh, we can't Baltic Holds there anymore, but we can here. There we go. Uh, so much for almost being able to build or get a, um, uh, get a new title. There we go. Our daughter completely ruined it for us. And she has run off to live with her son-in-law. She ran off to her sister's house. Um, so we can make this kid intolerable. Uh, we can make him, let him become uncouth, but brawny. Uncouth isn't too bad. It just means people aren't attracted to you. And people who are well-groomed don't care if you're, they don't like it if you're uncouth. It's more of a, a little fun flavor modifier. Uh, we have a new heir. Go siege this down. Poland doesn't look happy with us. Uh, our son is now our new heir. Actually, let's leave. Poland's, Poland's looking angry. Let's go siege this guy. Let's go siege this man. Let's mock your character. Oh, he has challenged us. Challenge accepted. And we will show no mercy and we will kill him. And... Uh, this kid who just inherited is imprisoned by us. That's fun. We're gonna actually ransom him. Yes, give me the money. Uh, and then we're gonna be going to war with him. So we're actually gonna lower our troops. Uh, send our retinue home. 
And let's actually go get some money this way. We have 60 prisoners. Let's go ransom and make money that way. Which is a m good way to make money. Yes. 149, 159. Uh, we can now usurp a title. We could usurp the High Chiefdom of Estonia from him. Sure. Probably shouldn't have done that. He won't pay us as much money. But now we're going to give it to this man. High Chieftain of Estonia. There you go. Uh, this pleases me. They're paying your ransom. Alright. And can we ransom anyone else? You have to hit this multiple times. Because each time you ask someone, it takes up a slot, essentially. And you can only ha interact with one character with one message at one time. So if we have, like, five people from a guy, then we have to ask him five different times to ransom. And now we can totally make the Duchy of Sakala. Is that the right Duchy? Yeah, Duchy of Sakala. Creates. Yes. The High Chieftain of Sakala. We're going to give it to our friends. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. And next we can create the Kingdom of Estonia. Possibly. It'd be 314 gold, though. Um, first, though, we're going to take some of this money that we have. And go build some market villages. To actually get some income coming in. Oh, that one's still building the training grounds. You. There you go, Market Village. And a Market Village. And a Market Village. Oh, we don't have enough money. Can we go ransom anybody else? We still have 138 gold in ransoms. Alright, here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go... Oh, we're building that one. It's this one. There we go. And I can't Baltic Holds there, but I can't... I can't Baltic Holds here. So we're gonna come here and Baltic Holds. Do it. Very nice. Which saves us a lot of cash. Um, now they're voting for someone else who's unmarried. You are 16. You need a wife. How about someone with lots of diplomacy? Who's not too old? Hmm. Marry the 16 year old. That's fine. And we also have open marshal slot and open steward slot. And I'm sure we can ransom some more people. 56 more gold, please. Thank you. Marriages. Ransoming people. Ransom again. There's one more person. The blood of a legend! Our son completed the legendary vert journey as well. So he now has three bloodlines. Uh, we are going to offer him all the concubines we can. And we still have people in our prison because no one wanted them. So we're going to offer him concubines because we need him to make babies and pass on the bloodline that he made especially. Uh, possessed woman is okay. Offer concubine. And we can give our niece. She wants to get married. It's probably better than the chase. Sure. Marry your niece. He got... Personal combat skill plus five, unyielding blood, resilient to battle injuries. Pretty good. Not not as good as what we have, but still pretty good. Ah, uh, maybe we all have glory in this. Oh wait, no, he gets. Oh, we get inspired by legends. Okay, and so he's got three. It looks like he created. Oh, 
Our son is the same name of us. Okay, that's what's confusing me for a moment. Since usually when I play, I rename characters after people in chat when I'm streaming. Or I go with a theme. And I've not been doing that. So we really want our son to inherit. Can we... Can we vote for the one? Would anyone follow us? Probably. Uh, maybe. Maybe people are voting for him. They like him enough. All right, that's pretty awesome. But we're going to stop right here. We've actually gone over by a few minutes, but we had exciting things to do. To end this off, just so I remember, we're going to declare war on this kid. Conquest. There we go. And we'll start, the, we'll start the next episode off with that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Bye, y'all.